head here. I'm back at the bench. Oh. Yes. Update. Doesn't look like much this time. Oh. Been gluing, clamping and gluing these sections of I beam in here. And painting. And touching up and painting. And sanding and filling and doing a little little bits here and there. Just time consuming. Doing this where I can. Life is trying to get in the way over here. Got other projects going. that rare motorcycle sitting out in the garage and, uh, give you a little tour here excuse me if it's floaty okay this here I'm making a mold of a part for the pet cock this is rubber Uh, new gasoline formulations of made this thing last about a year. So what I'm thinking about doing is making a mold and casting a new one in silicone and putting it in. So hopefully it won't leak for a while. Uh, also, I've got a computer back here. Over here. Uh, can't see it too well. I built it about 10 years ago, 11 years ago, close to 12, I guess. Wonderful system. Just now starting to get a little unstable. That's been what I've been doing my editing on. So, that's right here with that screen. Well, I've got me another computer here that I've been practicing with. Uh, its monitor is here. Uh, that I've been trying to learn my editing programs with. And now I've added another monitor here, which i am just spun out and get sitting. That's for the computer that I am in process of building to do my editing with. I've just I've started ordering parts for it, so it'll take me probably a couple more months to complete. So in the meantime that screen will remain blank. Oh, not a whole lot of room in here. Excuse the float. Yeah, I've been setting that up this week. Uh, trying to get work done on this. Stumbled into a toy store a couple weeks ago. Found that for all your truckers. Have that sitting on the shelf for sixty bucks. Well, of course, I could not resist. Uh, 
since you can't find those on eBay for less than a hundred right now. Okay, but anyway, I'm getting my subcomponents up here, getting this ready to add the interior in after I finish the section here and of course do the wonderful thing of painting it black on the interior or just a section here adding another piece of sheet styrene across here uh, to enclose it since these critters were designed to be modular anyway, a section between this panel line and this panel line, these two interior sections here were designed to come out and be in a replaceable with different units. But anyway, you won't see the interiors of those. Those will be sealed up tight. Uh, I've been working on painting new parts to go in, designing new parts to go in, uh, pre-painting other parts. we can finish up. Uh, this is why it's taking me so long, y'all. You can still see some of the interior portions hiding back here. And I have completed and just ready to start putting in. So we've got a lot of pieces parts here. There's a lot of parts that were originally up on the model that aren't now. As you see all the gaps and the spine here which is cut apart. Back panel here. Back windows. And that has a sheet styrene wall. extra panels, wall, or, yeah, whole panels that have been taken apart. Uh, it's taken a lot of planning, you know. A lot of patience. I'm kind of losing the oomph. As I've got so many other projects, I've still got the garage yet to clean out clean up so I can get out there and work. Aye. But I'm trying to keep everything going. So getting spread thin. And thanks for your understanding. Sorry for the short little synopsis here lately and the length of time that this has been taking. Oh. Yeah, that's taken me a long time to do this. But I don't want to rush it. I don't want because when I get into a hurry I tend to really mess things up royally, so... I don't want to mess it up royally. I want to take my time so that I can inspire somebody out there to create their own. So, 
do better than what I'm doing. Okay. Do it in the way you see it. All right. I better get out of here. I'm starting to ramble. So, just thought I'd bring you up to speed on what I've got going with what little room I have here. Alright. Go ahead and uh, have a wonderful day.